Hi Earth Signs, welcome to your Oracle of Love reading for singles and couples. Single Earth Signs, Oracle of Love. Single Earth Signs, Oracle of Love. Okay, the star card. A lot of you are receiving fate, someone that's fated to be in your path. Fated, it's in your stars. They're predestined to be with you, to be around you, to be in a relationship with you. There could be someone under the sign of an Aquarius or another air sign with water in their chart. This is someone that can offer you healing as well with the star card. Abundance, joy. Uh, this is serendipity, a very fated meeting. It could be coincidental, as you might think, but it's actually predestined. Um, from the above, from the divine that this person is coming in. So that's very, very nice for some of you. It's someone that you're going to potentially spend a very, very long time with relationship-wise. This person could be famous, work with media, production, um, be an astrologist or into spirituality, astrology, the heavens. You know, they could be an astrophysicist, something to do with the, st with the stars planetary shifts and energies so there's a beautiful um, energy to them with the star card here they are destined for fame destined for notoriety of on some level well, this relationship is destined for notoriety almost like a power couple okay seven of wands there could be the need to be defensive over this person jealous or possessive this could be coming from you or this could be coming from them with the seven of wands <clears throat> there could be competition there could be a lot of other people interested in this person especially over social media with the star card i do think of fame so there could be potential suitors um you know messaging them showing interest in some capacity which ha which will have you feeling somewhat jealous um, I feel for others of you, you will have your guard up because you'll think this person is too good to be true or they're too much in the spotlight or they're just, they're not for you. But I almost want to say you need to give it a chance because you have the strength card here as well. Um, this this union that you'll, you'll, um, you'll endure with this other person might not be looked upon with favor, favorably from other people around you. So be prepared for comments potential disapprovals maybe <clears throat> you do have the strength card so the strength card is perseverance resilience there could be a leo or they could have very fiery energy they could be very dominant possessive lead from the front they could be very much into their personal fitness um you know they could be one that's work they could be someone that's working on their mental strength so whether that is through different avenues such as spirituality or perhaps seeking a counselling or um, psychologist services, working on their strength. This is also indicative of a strong, um, a strong-willed person that's coming in here that can offer you strength, <clears throat> or that you will be offering them earth signs. But they will be offering you fire, passion, lust, excitement, um, movement. They could even bring a shake-up with them. But I feel for the most part, it's it's in a good aspect. You'll learn a lot from this person. There's a lot of affection that they'll give. And this will definitely resonate with you. We see the woman who's adoring um, lovingly, this lion here. There's a lot of affection and love. And you'll feel very safe and nurtured in their arms. And you'll love absolutely, you know, you rule the senses. So you'll love, you rule the um, the earthly plane. So you'll love all this attention and affection you'll receive from this person. They could also work in rehabilitation. With a strength card here or, you know, psychology. Helping people regain strength in some capacity. Pilates, yoga, personal training. Nine of Cups, this person is going to be a dream come true. This person is everything that you've been hoping, wishing, praying, wanting. Um, they're finally coming in and they're destined. It was a destined meeting. It might have already happened and you'll come back together. Um, people could be defensive, you know, you could be defensive about it because people might not be necessarily approving of the relationship or the union, but they really will be for some of you a dream come true, a dream boat.
someone you've been waiting for, someone that just is going to inspire you um, and really tick all the boxes, someone that you've been trying to manifest on a subconscious or conscious level with the Nine of Cups here. It's someone that you could have been dreaming about as well. It's someone that could be in the public eye that you've been wanting. But this is potential to be lifelong. And have a, have a beautiful future with as well. Wow, to get the Wheel of Fortune and the Star card in the same reading, Oracle of Love. This is definitely destiny and fate that's <clears throat> sending you this person. The Wheel of Fortune, things might have been working behind the scenes, but you you will you will come to see things in the physical. And it will be really will this person really will be a wish come true, a dream come true almost. Something about divine timing and serendipity. Could be something about a wheel. This is where, you know, you could meet at an event, at a famous event, a book signing, a concert, a media production. You could meet on set if you're filming. Um, or you might have, you know, maybe um, you're famous and you were, you were holding an event and this person came in and this is where you met them. Could be something to do with the wheel. It could be driving as well. Things going around and round. I think of rings, so jewellery as well. This is what this person could work with. Also, things that shine, things that twinkle, so design, jewellery. Um, Wheel of Fortune. This is beautiful, though. Absolutely beautiful un union. So things are in motion. You need to give it time because it's very much, for some of you, there is very much a destined love here, someone that's going to fulfill you in an absolutely beautiful way. Dream come true, Earth Signs. Wow. Probably got the best oracle of love reading out of all the signs for singles. Okay, we do have the moon. Again, reference to astrology, moon, the stars. Strong spirituality here or very much um, influenced by the moon. So uh, they could have a certain sign, emotion, and a water sign in their moon. Uh, so their moon sign could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They grow attached very, very quickly. They, um, they they have a lot of sentiment, nostalgia. They very much get emotionally attached to people. Um, there, you know, the moon can symbolize strong emotion, this push and pull. You'll feel magnetically drawn to them, Earth signs. Um, And there could be tough times ahead between the both of you, but I feel for the most part this relationship is fated to be in your path for one reason or another. They could have pets. They could be superstitious. They could be a tarot reader. They could be in the esoteric arts. Um, very much ruled by water, possibly. Or have their moon in a water sign. But they could be very, very creative. Something that could potentially make them famous or make them very well known. Could be in their work in their work sector very affectionate um, have a lot of intuition as well with the moon card have pets or want pets and this is a great sign of their character they do have a lot of affection they could definitely work with animals or you might meet somewhere around animals okay the priestess of rebirth november 25th to December 21st, you're looking around the time of Sagittarius. There's a second chance that could potentially be coming up with a fire sign. Uh, for some of you, it could be a water sign as well. A second chance, a, a shift in the dynamic of the relationship, a rebirth. So for some, you could be coming back. For others, this is um, a complete fresh start in love. So if there has been hurt, conflict, uh, pain, lack of commitment, um, lack of feeling connected or in love with someone, then this person could definitely be the one to change this for you. And you'll notice you'll have a different disposition and character when you're around them. It's almost like you've been reinvented, reinvigorated, that you suddenly found new purposes for life. Okay, innocence. There's innocence around them. They could be very childlike in some ways, not immature, but youthful maybe. They could be innocent of certain experiences. 
They could have um, purity around them. They could come from a situation where they were the innocent ones, whether they were deceived, they were hurt. But I feel they have, um, they want to be nurtured. They crave that nurturing and affection and you will definitely be able to offer them that uh, earth signs. Okay, the priestess of prosperity, there's prosperity around this person, good times, prosperous events, possibly fertility or a child here with the pomegranate fruit. Um, they do like to um, enjoy themselves. They come from a good friend circle. They might come from a very affluent family where they're invited to a lot of events. Um, with prosperity, they could have a lot of finances, a lot of assets, or a creative pursuit that brings them money. You might even meet on a night out where there's drinking involved. In particular, someone's drinking a martini here or in a red dress maybe, or in a red suit, has a red tie. Okay, Priestess of Beauty, they're very, very attractive, but very not only on the outside, on the inside as well. There could be a lot of femininity or masculinity with this person, and this will definitely attract you as earth signs. They have a creative pursuit or a habit that they've mastered or they're very good at. This could be music, fashion, design, writing, creating, developing. They've got the phases of the moon. You have the moon here, so anxiety. Um, creativity, intuition, they could have an anxious disposition about them, but very beautiful, very attractive. There's really um, a purity to this person. I think they're very, very genuine. Okay, happiness. They'll bring a lot of happiness to the relationship. I feel they're very light and breezy, very youthful, and I think this will attract you. Um, they have a happy disposition, a, a happy character, and they could be very outgoing and very bubbly. Love to dance, love to keep active. Again, the pomegranate fruit, possibly pregnancy or working with children or pregnant women. Wow, the love card. Okay, that's the first time I've gotten the love card for these readings. For some of you, this is a soulmate. This is a twin flame. This is your happily ever after. This is the one you've been attracting and hoping to meet and they're here. It's either you've met them already or you will meet them when you, meet, when you watch this video. It is timeless. I haven't put a date. On, this, on these videos, it's whenever you watch them and whenever it feels like it resonates. That love is two people coming together, earth signs, so there's definitely a destined love. Um, a love that doesn't come around very often and it's happening. This is you on your tree of life and this is, you know, the universe orchestrating your meeting. It was meant to meet, be, your, your lives were designed this way for you to meet and unite and have children and build a family and just share this beautiful love with one another. So it's definitely a beautiful soulmate um, connection that's coming in here and a meeting that will take place that's face to face and will just take you by storm. Beautiful, very nice. Let's have a look at coupled earth signs. Whether you're married, um, courting, dating, on the verge of becoming exclusive, coupled earth signs. Okay, the hanged man, there's something that will be um, hanging in the balance, something that there's a delay in, within the relationship. It could be there's a delay on an answer for a job promotion. It could be that there's things hanging in the balance that, re that relationship is being based on. Um, this is all about delays and possibly obstacles with a moment of enlightenment coming up. So for some of you, um, something really is hanging in the balance. But I think if there's a period of um, stagnancy, I think it's for a good, for a good reason. Because it's almost like the hangman was meant to be doomed, but there's a beautiful, um, like a halo, a moment of enlightenment. So not not all not all is doomed here. There's a reason for the wait. Things are hanging in suspension here. You could be waiting on a result of something, waiting on a visa so your loved one can come over, waiting on a promotion, waiting on their um, 
for their time or their service for the army to be up so they can come home. With the hanged man here, there's a, there's a bit of a waiting game for some couples. Okay, King of Cups, strong attachment, emotional reconciliation, hardships around emotions, um, being strong in the face of adversity. There could be obstacles coming up, but for the most part, there's beautiful reconciliation. The King of Cups is the ruler of emotion. So there's um, a beautiful love attachment here with the King of Cups for you earth signs. Okay, this card wanted to come out again. The Nine of Cups. Really good for you earth signs, actually. A wish will be fulfilled. A wish will come true. Something will manifest that you've been wanting out of this relationship. Whether it's because of your patience or you've been waiting or it's all divine timing that's orchestrating something for this relationship. Whether it's you've been waiting on this other person to say I love you, been waiting to propose, something hangs in the balance and you'll be very pleased with the outcome with the Nine of Cups. Very pleased with what the universe has orchestrated for you and your mate. You and your potential loved one. Whether this is getting engaged, going on holiday, you know, becoming pregnant. Something that you've been waiting on will change um, and fulfill your wishes in this relationship, which is very positive. Okay, the Hierophant could definitely be marriage to, for some of you. Um, fame, being in the public eye. Um, maybe if you've made a business together with your partner, this could this could see the business being in the public eye. There's also a priest involved, so there's spirituality or religiousness. It's definitely marriage for some of you that's coming up or an engagement or a ceremony, an anniversary that you'll be celebrating that's coming up to honor your relationship in some way. Could even be a surprise party for the both of you or a family reconciliation maybe with the Hierophant or planning to get married, spirituality. Visiting religious sites, holy sites, historical sites that could potentially bring the two of you closer together. Okay, judgment. There's contracts surrounding a partnership here, whether it's moving in together with the judgment card, legalities, buying a home, signing paperwork, enrolling your ch children into school, these legalities that's happening in the relationship, signing off that documentation to get married, for a property maybe, an asset of some kind, um, documents for yourself, your children, that might be getting done with the judgment card, um, receiving good feedback. So whether that's from a marriage counsellor, whether that's from friends that say they've seen improvements in the relationship, whether it's you that's going to be really soaking up the glory. I mean, look at these people. They're totally embracing the angel's music. They're embracing what the divine has offered them. But this is gratitude, openness, and making a really good judgment call. But as a team, making a really good judgment call together, the both of you. Ten of Cups, beautiful, happily ever after. Buying that family home, looking to the rainbow in the sky. It could be a family reconciliation, a reunion of some kind. Meeting the in-laws for some of you and receiving really good approval and judgment and praise. Feeling really welcomed in by the family maybe. The Ten of Cups is just... Maybe buying that property you've been waiting for, taking a beautiful family voca um, vacation that is going to be absolutely memorable um, and really thanking your lucky stars for this person and what this person has brought in for you. So definitely beautiful happy endings here for a lot of you in your relationships, in your partnerships. Okay, Priestess of Healing, a lot of healing is happening, financial healing, emotional healing, things that have, you've been waiting for, the outcomes are definitely going to please you and offer you healing, whether this is reconciling, <clears throat> you know, some of you could be divorced and coming back together with this person, or there's healing that's happening for one person or the other, and this is, this is emotion, this emotional bond is going to receive healing between the two of you. Very nice. This is changes. This is, you know, you've got an angel here, you've got an angel here, so you are being protected. It's almost like there's divine intervention here. Okay, ritual. So something's coming up that needs to be celebrated between the two of you. Ritual, and it could be in the form of an anniversary. Um, they might remember the date you first met. Um, there's some sort of tradition that you need to adhere to that's coming up for all you couples. Could be, as I said, an anniversary. 
it could be a tradition, um, a cultural thing you two do together or a new tradition you, you will start or have started um, <clears throat> together. So this is, um, this is good. This, this is promising of consistency, familiarity. So with the priestess of ritual, this is very good. Um, it's also rituals. You know, we see this beautiful nude priestess. So intimacy. A lot more intimacy if that's what you've been lacking in the relationship. Okay, strength, June 10th to July 7th. You're looking around the time of Gemini Cancer. <clears throat> Needing strength, having the strength, mustering the strength to pursue on with what it is that you need to do. Perseverance, again, we see the tree of life. And it's sort of like a shield, like a medallion. So victory, bravery, strength, becoming, being the most powerful at the around this time, the most powerful um, ener um, energies, the most powerful energy in your relationship, being at your most powerful, being at your most strongest, being there for the for the other person, for your mate, if they really need you. A priestess of rebirth could be second chances that are coming in November 25th, um, December 23rd, the time of Sagittarius. Could be a new beginning, rebirth, a renewal of vows even for some of you. A second chance. Okay, wishes fulfilled. Very nice. Absolutely beautiful earth signs. I'm so happy for you. Wishes fulfilled in relationships. This is everything you've ever dreamed of. It's all coming. It's all happening. It's all manifesting you and you're just... You know, you've been sitting here meditating, visualizing, manifesting, and it's coming. This, this happy times are coming, and it's well, well worth it. Your wishes will be fulfilled in this relationship. Okay, priestess of success, success in the relationship, success in finances, in children rearing. March 18th, <clears throat> so the time of Pisces to, to April 14th. This could be significant for you, but there's definitely success in the relationship. Rebirth, renewals, beautiful positive changes for you coupled earth signs. Thank you again for joining me. I hope this has been insightful and I shall be chatting to you soon. Thanks again.